All right, everyone, the other day Elijah Cummings was saying dumb shit, so Trump jumped down his throat and said, well, you know, the, the border's squeaky clean and well-ordered and, and, you know, would be fine, except it's, you know, a little crowded. Uh, unlike Elijah Cummings' district, he's, he's a representative, is he a representative or a senator? I think he's a representative uh, from Baltimore, actually. That's his city. Uh, and he was like, well, Baltimore is overrun with crime and it's infested and, and stuff like that. Um, he's not wrong. Uh, on an objective scale, Baltimore is a decrepit city that has systemic issues. It has systemic problems with high crime. It does have a lot of pollution. It does have a lot of poverty. Trump pointing this out can only be considered racist in the context of assuming that he's racist. If you don't assume that, you say, hey, he's making a statement about an inner city that quite literally is infested with crime. It is overrun with drugs. It is overwhelmed with poverty. It's simply a truth. It is an objective statement to make. And by the way, one that the left has made for a very, very long time. It's, it's, it's until the last couple of years, because Orange Man bad, of course. The left was the party of haranguing about the problems of the inner city and saying, hey, we need more money uh, in order to solve this problem. If you don't give us more money, essentially you hate black people, is what it boiled down to. But now, in the last couple of years, they've taken to pretending that there's no problem in the inner cities. How dare you suggest that there's crime here? You must be a racist because it's a black community, or this inner city is a diverse, wonderful place to be. How dare you insult us uh, and say that there are problems? People would rather hide their heads in the sand and pretend that there are no problems in the ghetto of the inner city, which Baltimore has an expansive ghetto, uh, you know, or, or I should say multiple ghettos. Um, it's, it's run down. It is one of the high crime areas of the country. Only if you say, well, but, but uh, Representative Cummings is black, and he, he represents this community. There are a lot of black people there. Wow, Trump must be a racist. Only if you assume that he's a racist. If you assume that he's not, and he's talking about the civic structure of the city being piss poor, which it is, and run by the far left, which it is, and squandering money, which it is, with a lot of wealth inequality, which it does have, with a lot of black people that happen to be suffering in it through no problem of their own because the politicians there won't help them. Yeah, yeah, uh, Trump's not a racist. And I've asked this, it's like they've doubled and now tripled down on his tweets. The initial tweets, uh, tweets that Trump sent out, the uh, tweets uh, days ago, I think almost a week ago at this point, were labeled racist, and it got to the point where the legacy media just told the lie often enough where it didn't even bother you know, like saying, oh, allegedly racist or supposedly racist. It just said, well, Trump's racist tweets uh, caused Deal and Omar to issue this stunning response, stunning and brave, sort of bullshit like that, self-fulfilling sort of uh, non-journalism. Now you have a situation where you have this other set of tweets Again, that don't mention race in any dem demonstrable manner. There's no reference to race here. There's no reference to Elijah Cummings being black. There's a reference to him being a fucking failed politician. And he is. There's a reference to Baltimore, not its demographics, but the fact that, hey, it is run down. It's a seedy place to be. It's a declining city. I mean, like pointing this out for any other location. The funny part was when Trump talked about like the white slums of Appalachia and their problems, nobody called it racist, but they still called it problematic. Oh, Trump only cares about white communities, I remember them saying at the time when he was campaigning. Now he's saying, hey, maybe you should go back to your community and clean it up because the border's just fine except that it's overcrowded, that you're neglecting your own constituents. Well, this is something that liberals have said before too. Once again, Trump, the business Democrat essentially, what is he? He's a business dem of a fiscally more conservative style dem from the 80s, 90s period, minus the moralism. That's what Donald Trump really boils down to. Elijah Cummings has gone way, way out into left field, along with most of the Democratic Party, to the point where they would rather ignore reality. They would rather ignore the reality on the ground, even for their constituents, and say, hey, anyone telling you that you've got problems in your community is a racist. They just hate you. They're sexist. There's something wrong with them. If they notice the high crime rate in St. Louis, oh, it must be because they're making a racist statement about the black communities in St. Louis. No, they're talking about St. Louis overall, and everyone therein is subjected to crime and corruption and stupidity at the government level. That's the way it is. If you look at San Francisco and people say, hey, there's a problem with public defecation in San Francisco. 
it's even gone past even just being a joke about hippies at this point. It's a real public health crisis. It doesn't have anything to do with race. It doesn't have any, does, certainly doesn't have anything to do with wealth inequality. <laughs> at this point, it doesn't even have to do with that. You can make a hundred grand in San Francisco and be poor. So you can make pretty good money, and ultimately, it you know doesn't really matter if you're in that particular hellhole. Baltimore's kind of like uh, what's it, Atlantic City or something like that, I suppose. Or uh, what's that with Camden? <laughs> and then sort of what uh, Baltimore represents. It's not a great place to be. I've had several people message me, actually, after I retweeted the Trump tweet, saying, yeah, I'm from Baltimore. Yeah, it's basically hell. And I'm sure that there are people there that, you know, they have a nice life and there are nice places. Guess what? Those aren't the ghetto. Those aren't the places that are overrun by gang violence because of attacks on the Second Amendment you know, by liberal politicians preventing people from defending themselves, attacks on the police, uh, police and their ability to do their job, uh, the continuous strain of the prison system, because they'd rather lock up Harold the Happy Hippie than go after, you know, Manny the Axe Murder or something like that. Um, Baltimore is, has problems. How is that racist to say? If so, if you say so, in other words, if you uh, s say something about a white community, like you know, random small town American, like, well, this place is uh, has problems with inbreeding. Is that automatically a stereotype about like white lower class individuals? Or are you saying, hey, by the way, here's a, here's a piece of paper that shows that a third of the population married its cousin? Well, then, yeah, you have an inbreeding problem. It's not a stereotype, and it's certainly not racist. It's simply pointing out a truth. And the truth is that Baltimore is a large city, a blighted large city. It's run by a corrupt local government. There's a corrupt state government in charge of the local government. Um, it's a disarmed hellhole, a high tax zone, and a lot of people there are in poverty and they're subjected to gang violence. Yes, it's literally rodent infested. That's another point that was made. People are saying, well, use the term infested. That's not very politically correct. What the fuck are you talking about? Who cares what term he uses? Okay, so so it's not a rodent infestation. You don't have like a rat problem or anything. Like sewer rats aren't a problem in Baltimore. It's just like crocodiles aren't a problem in the sewers in New York City. I, I kid. Uh, it's not a, a rat infestation. It's just unauthorized rodents uh, happen to be renting property at the subterranean level in your city. Okay, does that make you feel better? It's still the same problem. You've just chosen different words to describe it. There you go, with the, uh, <laughs> the linguistic uh, propaganda there from the left. Oh my god, he used the term infested. He's referring to black people. No, he didn't. He didn't use anything. He didn't talk about race. He's talking about a city. A city, a specific metropolitan district that happens to be run by people uh, who are contemporaries of people like Cummings, who pretend to care about the black communities that they themselves do not have to live in. They don't give a fuck about the ghetto. You think Elijah, you think Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson and Elijah Cummings and all these morons care about some lower class black family living in Camden or living in Baltimore? They don't give a fuck any more than they care about some lower class family living in a trailer and somewhere in Appalachia, a bunch of rednecks with a moonshine distillery in their backyard. They don't give a fuck about them. They don't care about you until you're at least on the margins of being wealthy or, or you're a famous individual. They care about you. They want the famous person to give them a shout out and they want the rich person to cut them a check. Are, are people in, in Baltimore cutting a lot of checks to Elijah Cummings' campaign? Yeah, he cares about that little old grandma that gave him $5, I'm sure. And you color me surprised when these people uh, reign over areas that are continuously blighted and get worse and worse over time. And then they would rather blame the problem on white people. Yes, yeah, so white people caused the problem in Baltimore. It wasn't the city government. It wasn't the municipal system breaking down because of basically socialism. It wasn't people like Elijah Cummings who pretend to represent these communities and then fucking ignore them. No, it's the problem of some other group of people. It's essentially a, a casting of blame. That's about all. Peace out.